putting a choral concert together is always an interesting challenge. I think you want to know what will uh, excite the singers, what will uh, invite the audience in, and what kind of message you're trying to convey for the course of 90 minutes. And in choral music, we have the great luxury of music that's been written for the last 1,500 years to choose from. We have the richest repertoire of any musical idiom. So we can go from medieval times to very modern. And in putting a program together for February 1st, I, I was asked by Concora to put together a American-oriented program and also pieces of my own, which I was delighted to do. So this is a uh, quite an interesting collection of pieces. There is a new work by Stephen Stuckey, a recent Pulitzer Prize winner called Winter Stars, which uh, really is this, it, it's a beautiful Sarah Teasdale poem that talks about looking over the Atlantic right after World War I and that the only constant in the world is really the stars in a war-torn world. And I put that with a piece of mine called When Morning Comes, also a World War I text, uh, which talks about a fallen soldier that won't rise again from fields of Europe. So when you put together uh, a concert like this, you want to have pieces that talk to one another, that are in dialogue. And uh, it's interesting to see how they bounce off one another and what kinds of connections can be made. And then challenging the audience a little to make those connections or even just subconsciously hear that things are related. There'll be a different variety of pieces that includes works by Isai Barnwell, a wonderful composer who wrote for Sweet Honey in the Rock. Um, also a piece by Stephen Leake, an Australian composer. I did manage to get away from American music, but that's a piece that also treats folk traditions. Uh, Stephen Leake's piece talks about uh, a sun myth in uh, the aboriginal traditions where the sun goes forth and seeks her son that she's missing. And it's full of sort of banshee cries. Um, and these are paired against pieces of mine. But I have to say, even in the pieces of mine, there's a lot of different variety. So there's a piece for women uh, called I Cannot Dance, O Lord. There's a piece for the guys. Uh, and then the concert will end with a setting of Dante, uh, his, uh, the last 33 lines of his uh, last canto of Paradiso, uh, set for triple choir. Um, and it's called uh, Dante's Dream, or the love that moves the sun and other stars. So it's hopefully going to move the audience as well.